I want to start by saying this that it all happened to me, and I am writing this for closure. We all know of the animated TV show called Aqua Team Hunger Force. Well, at least until it was still called that, now the show has changed its title and lost all humor that it ever had, which was little, but it was still pretty good. Anyways, I myself had forgotten about this so long ago, until recently while surfing the backwaters of the internet, don't ask me why. I had come across a site similar to the Pirate Bay, a much simpler in context and style. It was a black screen with a bunch of text in white letters, that read such things as, TV, books, XXX adult, and games. Being as extremely bored as I was, I clicked on the link that read TV. I regret that now. Once the link had opened, I scrolled through the list of shows that were available. Most were children's TV shows, like Spongebob or Pokemon, but towards the end I came across a link to Aqua Team Hunger Force. I clicked it and two episodes came up. One was the Christmas episode, a funny one I liked, but I had never heard of the other one. It was called, The Final Episode, Editor's Cut. I figured this was a rejected episode, that Adult Swim never bothered to air. I clicked and opened it and began watching. The episode began as normal, with the intro coming on as such. But the sound was different. And the way the characters act seemed rather odd. Anyways, once the show started up I relaxed a bit and was getting ready to start laughing. The episode opened up at the team's house, with Master Shake sitting at his chair, drinking some wine, staring at the camera. I was waiting for something to happen, for him to say something. But, he just kept staring. I checked to make sure my computer was still fine, and it was. I looked back up at the screen, Shake still sitting there, he was starting to tear up, and then eventually cry. The screen then cut to a live action shot of a pulpy in what appeared to be a cage. A man walked towards the creature, petting it at first, then pulling out what looked like a knife. I closed my eyes. I heard high-pitched whimpering, and a man yelling. Quit moving. When I looked back up, it was back at the Aqua Team's house, but Meatwad was sitting motionless in his room, blood leaking from what appeared to be his rear end. It then cut to Frylock, brutally beating Shake with a broomstick, as the latter was yelling. Oh, I deserve this. Frylock started tearing up and then cried. Though his voice was muffled, he whispered to Shake. Before Frylock could finish his sentence, the screen went to black. When something came on, it was Shay St. John. I figured that something funny was about to happen, and I found Shay to be laughing hysterically. But his laugh, usually high-pitched, became increasingly lower and lower, and he began mumbling things. He got up, went to his closet, and pulled out what appeared to be a cordless drill. He turned it on, and began drilling into a cake he pulled out of his dresser. I was beginning to chuckle, but the screen went to black, and when it came back on, there was blood in Shay's room and he was sitting in a corner shaking violently mumbling the words. I'm sorry, it hurts. A few seconds later, footage came back on, this time of an elderly woman strapped down to a metal table, and a man approaching her with a pair of pliers. The woman began pleading, bringing up such things such as her grandkids and her pets. But it was to no avail, as the man began pulling her teeth out with the pliers. There was so much blood, the man then shoved some napkins into her mouth and left, leaving her in so much pain. I almost vomited. I tried to turn my computer off, but it was frozen. I couldn't help it now so I let a few tears go down. The screen left the old lady and came back onto black and white images of corpses, corpses I would later learn belonged to victims of Jeffrey Dahmer. The screen would zoom in on each of the bodies, and then some old-time music would play, rather cheery for what was showing. I couldn't take it anymore. I tried to turn the damn computer off again, but it was freaking stuck. I was going to contact the police, I knew whatever sick frit made this needed to be put away, but the screen changed up again. It went to a man in a gas mask in a barren desert, crawling around like an insect that had just been stepped on. He was violently jerking and shaking until he pushed over a stone and underneath was a human baby. The man pulled the baby up to his face and tucked it into his shirt. The baby was struggling in there, suffocating. Struggling, but the man kept in there until it stopped moving. No mom started being emitted from my computer, until the screen changed to something else. It went back to the Aqua Teens, this time for the final scene. Shake was dead, no doubt having been killed by Frylock. Shake was laying face up on the floor, Frylock hovering over him. There was blood everywhere, and on the walls of the house there were pictures of realistic severed heads, and autopsy bodies, which the camera would zoom in and out of randomly. 
Frylock then looked into the camera, then back at Shake, and whispered one thing, in a demoniacally electronic voice. I love you, and you killed our love. The door to the Aqua Teen's house suddenly burst open, then, with loud moans coming from nowhere and the house started shaking, and the screen cut to black. The screen came on and showed some footage of 9-11, and turned off again. It was over. The computer returned to normal, and I contacted the police shortly after. The cops watched the video, and said they would track whoever made the video. Good, I thought the sick freak would get what was coming to him. A couple months later, I read something in a newspaper that a convicted pervert, with a thing for making home movies, had been caught, and was tied directly into the making of the Aqua Teen episode. However, when questioning about it, the man said he had no idea of the episode, and said he didn't even know what Aqua Teen Hunger Force is. However, after watching the episode with the cops, the man gave only one comment. The thing the fry said at the end was what my wife said after I killed our firstborn son. <laughs>